Well, hello, hello, hello. And happy Easter. First and foremost, welcome to recipe of the day. Just sending out lots of love to everyone on this beautiful Easter Sunday morning. Have you been to church yet? We have been there and I thought I am making something delicious today. So I thought I would bring you guys along. I am making an easy lemon tiramisu for our Easter dinner tonight. I'll be taking it um, with us. We're going to some friends I'm excited about. So welcome. We are going to get started here with this easy lemon tiramisu, but let me pull up my comments here. You want to comment live with, with, with me? It's on my Facebook page so I can see them because I can't see them on Insta. <laughs> They're too small. So here we are. So if you want to comment live, go to my Facebook page. Okay, here we go. We're going to start with the lemon tiramisu. So I'm going to put, this is about almost a cup of fresh squeezed lem lemon juice, which I already squeezed, and about two tablespoons, heaping tablespoons of sugar, and let that get going here first. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be yummy. Because I mean, everyone loves tiramisu, right? The traditional kind with the coffee and the chocolate, but I thought, oh my gosh, lemon. Because I have a couple people in my world that don't like chocolate. So we we're gonna go lemon, fresh and lemony. Plus I have a lemon tree that is so happy. It makes so many lemons that we need to do something with them. <laughs> so here we go. I have a block of cream cheese that is softened. If I can get it off the package here and into the bowl. I'm gonna start with that in the bowl. What did the Easter Bunny bring everyone today? Little kids are so cute everywhere. So here we go. This is eight ounces of mascarpone cheese, which is basically fancy Italian cream cheese, but it just has a little different zing to it. So we're putting in a package of mascarpone. Easy to find. Uh, I'm sure they have it at Trader Joe's. They have it at the regular store. It's usually near the nicer cheeses is where I found this. So that's where it is. Oh, whoops. So the mascarpone is in and then a little hack a box of lemon instant pudding. <laughs> I said it was going to be easy. I meant it. So here we go. A box of lemon pudding going in. I know I think it's going to be so good. And then we're going to put in one cup of milk going right in. And we're going to do one teaspoon of lemon extract. So we will put that in here. I was thinking we just use lemon, use more lemon juice, but I thought, oh, I better do what the recipe says, put the lemon extract in. So it's going to be super lemony. So let's give that a whip. And cream cheese is always easier to deal with and work with when it's softened, when it's warm. So I uh, always try and warm it up a little because it always mixes and incorporates a little bit better. I saw um, yesterday on uh, What's Gabby Cooking, she was also making tiramisu this week, but she said, make sure all your ingredients are cold. And I thought, huh? But I didn't have time to watch the episode, so I don't know why she wanted them cold, but mine are a little warmed up because we're gonna chill this again after we get it assembled. So this is our filling. Kind of a cross between tiramisu and lemon cheesecake. Yum, which I also made a lemon cheesecake a couple of weeks ago. It was delicious. I'll tell you about that in a second when I get this whipped up. Try and get it whipped up and not all over me, huh? Okay. That looks like it's gonna be yummy. Hey, I think we're good on that. So I'm going to scrape this down a little bit so we're ready to assemble. Yum, look how pretty. It's pretty lemony yellow color. It looks so good. Now, if you were making this for a larger crowd, I'm just making an eight by eight square Pyrex of this. But if you're having a large get together and wanna make this, I would double this recipe because it's easy. You just buy a few more lady fingers and use a bigger pan and you're good to go. But this one is a eight by eight baking dish size. So there we go. Give that a little taste. Mm, very good.
Very good. So I'm going to move the mixer out of the way here so we can assemble. So another thing that makes this easy is the store-bought uh, lady fingers. So these, they come like this. They are a hard Italian cookie. They look like this. And we are going to start assembling. So here to assemble, I have my, again, lemon juice with a little bit of sugar I put in here, and that's it. So we're going to take our lady fingers, dip them in, get them dunked in the lemon. Open these up. We can dunk faster. Oh, my gosh. Can't see who's there. Who's there? How's it going? How's Easter? Oh, people are brunching, lunching, Easter egg hunting. This is our first Easter that our son is not here. He is at college. He is enjoying being with his friends this weekend. But we will get to see him soon as Parents Weekend is coming up. <laughs> what should we know about Parents Weekend at college? It's our first one. <laughs> Anything you can share? Get us ready. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so yummy. Get these out of here. I even cut them open to try and make this go faster. Oh, there we go. These look yummy. Okay. Stick one in the end there. One here. I feel the sugar and the lemon juice is getting a little, it's getting a little syrupy. I'm going to break that one. Let him fit in there. Break another one. Of course, once this is all done, no one will know that they got the broken piece. <laughs> There we go. Okay, now we're going to take our first layer of our lemon yumminess. Look at this. Yum! And spread some in here. So here we go. Try and do this neatly with all you guys watching. But this is going to be so yummy. Spread some all around. I'm going to use, I got my offset spreader knife out here to try and have this go quick and smooth. Yum. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Let's see, can you guys see? There we go. Now I'm using this glass Pyrex dish for a couple reasons, so you can see the, la the layers, but also because I have a cool, because I'm taking this to a friend's for dinner, um, we can, um, I have a little serving thing this goes in, I'll show you. Okay, there is layer one. Get some in the corner here. So, see, just spread it on there, and we're going to do another layer of our fingers. Let's see which way they're going here. And I will do them this way. So when you cut into it, your fingers are going different ways. How about that? What is your favorite Easter tradition? Do we have anyone up? up there commenting that you can read. I can't re read them. <laughs> no? Can't see them. So Easter is always so much fun. Was your I loved, always loved, you come down in the morning and you have your Easter basket with all your yummy things and the Easter egg hunt. Who is a super competitive Easter egg hunter? <laughs> I, I certainly was. Going for the chocolate, right? Going this way. Take artistic li uh, license here, since no one's going to see which way your lady fingers are going once it's once they cut into it. <laughs> oh my gosh, this looks so good! Do you have a favorite Easter memory that you can think of? Think of one right now. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> okay. Let's see. We'll leave this up to our son, the engineer, on how to engineer these lady fingers into this <laughs> dessert. <laughs> oh, we're going to make them fit here. Okay, I need one more. It's kind of that length. There we go. Okay. Oh my gosh, looks so good. See our fingers? 
Yummy. Okay, next layer of our lemon cream cheese, mascarpone, lemon pudding yumminess going in. So like I said, if you want to make a bigger one of these, just double the recipe. No, no problem. Easy peasy. Yummy. Okay. Take this and spread it. Oh my gosh, looks so yummy. Oh, and it is a beautiful day here today. Absolutely gorgeous. Wish we could say the same. Is it still raining at the Masters? Anybody else watching the Masters? They had a little bit of rain problems in Georgia. But that's always exciting. Beautiful day there. I love the Masters because I love the azaleas. They are so gorgeous there. Just unbelievable. Okay, there we go. Now, you got to call that a pretty much an easy peasy dessert since we're done in like just a few minutes. So to garnish this, I am going to take some fresh lemon zest because, I mean, what isn't yummy? Lemon zest and put it on top. I'm going to show you the dish. Oh, yeah, the dish. I'm going to serve this in real quick before you go. And if you're watching on replay, hashtag re, uh, replay. If you have any ideas on things you want me to make, I'm always happy to make things that you guys want to see. Always a pleasure. Always trying new recipes, which is always fun. And then sharing them because I get lots of DMs and questions about recipes and ideas and you guys are making all these re uh, recipes, and it's fun to talk about them. So let me know. Okay, there we go. How yummy does that look? Lemon tiramisu. Yummy. Now, I'm going to cover this and refrigerate it, refrigerate it for a couple of hours before we go to dinner. That's why I made it a little bit early. And then I'm going to show you my dish that I have that this fits in. So before we go, I have this cute little holder that I will take it in. And boom, there we go. Dessert is served. So happy Easter. Thank you for watching. It's always a pleasure. And we will see you soon.